Today I'm going to show you how to use the Shape It Frame Templates. To find your template, you go to Insert, Template, and a list will show up. And you're just going to scroll down the list. Because they're called Shape It Frames, it will be under S. You find it, you click, and you press Continue. You'll see a list. If you click on each one, it shows you on the right hand side the different layouts of the frames. I'm going to choose three and press import and then close. All right, so you can see that I made the templates in this set with a white background as the default. You cannot recolor white in my memory suite. So what I've done is I've actually loaded um, a recolor frame as well in case you want to recolor it. And the way to find that and install it would be first of all you want to delete the white. So you click on the white frame and you just press delete. Now we're going to go to embellishment frame and add. And I happen to know it's under purchased. You'll always go under purchased but I happen to know it's under everyday pick the shape it frames and you'll see that all the elements that are included in that kit are showing. So you simply scroll down and find the beige colored frame and I press add. Then I close it and you can see that your template will now be on the page. It's a little bit off centered you can see right here there's a little white showing and there there's a little white showing so I'm just going to nudge it down by pressing the down arrow once and that's fixed it. Now it will be on the top layer and if you remember you had those two beige strips that you could also recolor. So I'm simply going to right click and press send backward once and then one more time. And now my page is ready to recolor. What you simply do is press the recolor tool, choose the color you want. You can match it to a photo or you can choose one of these colors. If you want to match it to a photo click more picker and then you can click on your photos. I don't have any so it's not going to work so I'm just going to simply choose a pink. Press OK and you'll see it's recolored. Say I want to make these strips white, I click on the strip, recolor, white, OK, recolor, white, OK and then I simply have to add my photos and embellishments if I want and I'm done. It's that simple and fun.